10 reasons why a Class B RV could be your best bet in motorhomes. We'll talk about it right now. Hey there, welcome back, Dr. Dave, the RV dummy. And I know you're gonna love this one. If you're thinking about getting an RV, a motorhome, anything, or you already have one even, um, I'm gonna share with you why I think a Class B could be your absolute best bet. I know you're going to love this one, so give me a like if you can before we get started. If you can, please, it helps the channel. It really does. Um, let's get right into it. Um, 10 reasons. Now, I do want to share this with you. Um, if you've got a large family, um, what I'm going to be speaking about is mainly for one to two people, like one, a couple, or, and, and a pet. Um, but if you've got three or more people uh, you're trying to get an RV for, then chances are a, a Class B is not going to be your best bet. So it's one or two and a pet would work out really well. That's exactly what we've got. Number one, Class B RVs are very easy to drive. It's kind of like one step up, the next step up from an SUV, a large SUV. It's like driving a large van, a large heavy van, but it's doesn't. there's not a, a steep learning curve at all. Um, I really like it because you can um, see out the back window in many cases, not all of them, but in, in ours, we've got a Pleasure Way 2006 um, built on a Ford, uh, what is it, E350 chassis. And we can, I can see out the back window. Uh, and so when I'm passing a truck or a car, I, can, I, I know exactly when to get back in the lane. It's pretty darn easy to drive. Um, very, very comfortable as well. Number two, guess what? They're also easy to park. I mean, you pull into, let's say you're going to get some food at the Walmart or you're, you're on the road, you're going to get gas. You're, you're parking somewhere in an area where typically it might be difficult for a larger, a larger class C, one of those big class A's, a, a fifth wheel. You know, it's, it's sometimes they're tough to maneuver around and park. Class B, you can pretty much pull right into a, um, pretty much a regular parking spot. Um, I'll back up for a second. Just those of you that are not positive exactly what a Class B is, think of it is it, think of it as a um, a van, a very large van that's built into a um, into an RV. You've seen them on the road. Again, Pleasure Way, Road Trek, uh, 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 Leisure Travel. There are a, a bunch of different brands. These are Class B RVs. Number three is that Class B RVs get really good gas mileage on average. Now, that's, they're not going to get the same kind of gas mileage as your little car that you're putting around in, but um, for an RV, for an RV on average, they're going to get probably about the best gas mileage you can possibly get. Um, love it. Save money on gas there for sure. Number four, a Class B RV pretty much has everything you need on the inside and also on the outside. I'll just share with you some of the things we have in ours now. It's pretty compact. There's not a tremendous amount of room to dance around and walk around. But um, as you get past our two captain chairs where we drive, there's a nice, nice closet that has a lot of storage. There is a, um, a total, total walk-in bathroom. You, you know, you go in, there's a toilet in there, there's a shower, there's a sink. You can sit down, you can close the door, totally private. It's beautiful. Um, We've got a refrigerator, we've got a stove, we've got a microwave oven, we've got some extra seating, we've got a um, sofa in the back that actually press a button, folds down, it's right back of me if you can see it right there, yeah, there you go, right there, folds down into a, get this, king size bed, no, not a queen size, not a twin, king size bed, it is like incredibly comfortable. So, and yeah, the sink behind me, uh, we don't have a dishwasher, <laughs> but, but we pretty much have everything, everything you would need. And then on the outside, um, a lot of storage. Uh, we've got an outside shower. We've got all the compartments that you can think of that you typically have on any RV. It's all there um, in our compact Class B Pleasure Way RV. Um, number five, Class Bs are not complicated to repair because there's not a tremendous amount going on. We don't have slide outs. We don't have all the fancy bells and whistles. It's pretty basic, but not really that basic because we've got everything. So if something goes wrong, uh, either you, if you're really mechanically inclined, I'm the RV dummy. I don't really repair a lot of stuff. So um, I call in a mechanic, a, a mobile 
RV tech or some type of RV tech. And, and usually they can diagnose something and fix it pretty darn easily. Number six, if need be, you can use your Class B RV as an everyday vehicle. Now, I did a video a short time ago, a couple months ago, two, three months ago, something like that, uh, about the possibility and, and the pros and cons of using your Class B as an everyday vehicle. Um, the conclusion in that, in that video was, I don't um, I think it's a great idea. I don't, I don't pr um, promote that. But in a pinch, let's say you've got a car that breaks down or something, or you've got one that you're trading in and you're like without a car for a few months or whatever it might be. There's no problem at all using your Class B as an everyday vehicle if you need to. Um, I, would, I personally don't do it and I wouldn't do it long term, but in a pinch, absolutely no problem. Number seven, you can um, access many areas that large rigs, including class A's and even some uh, fifth wheels and, and these large things, can't get to. We can go almost anywhere a car can go, but some of these larger vehicles, these larger RVs and motorhomes, you just can't get there, so you're pretty much confined to certain areas. Number eight, this is pretty major. Number eight is why I originally got a Class B um, when we first started, when Yoko and I first started RVing about um, what, three, four years, four, three, four years ago, something like that. I don't remember, probably three years ago. Um, it's a great first step into RVing. I'm the RV dummy. I really knew nothing about RVing. And, and we were looking at um, all different types. I never looked at a Class A, but we look, definitely looked at Class Cs. We looked at trailers. We looked at fifth wheels. Um, but at the end of the day, I just, I knew nothing about RVing, like I just said, and I didn't want to get involved with something that was humongous and a lot of things going on. I picked something that was simple, and I think it was a great, great choice. To this day, I would not do it differently. I would not trade in my Class B for anything else. Um, love it, love it, love it, and it was a great, great first step to get acclimated and used to um, using everything in an RV. It was, everything was there, like I said. Um, number nine, Class Bs are inexpensive to store. If you're in an area where you need to store your RV, sometimes if you're out of town or if um, during really bad weather, all winter long, whatever you might be, we do that. We store. We have a storage place that we pay. Um, and the way they do this, they, char they generally charge by the foot how long your rig is. Since ours is 20 feet, imagine how much cheaper that is as opposed, as opposed to like a, a 34, 36 foot or one of these large bus type things. It costs a fortune to store those things. Class B, relatively inexpensive. Number 10, I've got a bonus for you also after number 10. Number 10, weather concerns are really not as great of an issue as with the larger rig, especially if you're towing something. Man, I mean, I've been in bad weather. We choose really not to travel in bad weather if at all possible, but sometimes you're on the road and a storm will hit it and out of nowhere, you don't really know it, and wind, and could be snow and weird stuff coming down. Um, I've seen, uh, I've seen, I've seen fifth wheels and, and trailers get basically blown over. I've seen it. I've seen on an interstate highway. To me, that's really, really scary stuff. It seems like maybe sometimes there's there's no control because it's, it's you and the weather. And if the wind is heavy enough, is, is strong enough, it's going to do some really, really bad things. And combine that with some ice on the road or something like that, it can be really scary and really dangerous. Um, I'm not saying that I love to drive our Class B in really bad inclement weather, and I try not to, like I just said. But um, in the event of some type of storm, we were just driving um, this past weekend to East Canyon State Park and, and getting up higher and higher in the canyon we encountered some bad weather and a lot of wind and we were okay we were pretty good but a larger rig could have been a problem i felt pretty comfortable although some of those switchbacks were they're always a little scary for me no matter what even if i'm in a car i just don't love i don't love mountain roads it's something about me that you just learn I, yeah I, mountain passes mountain roads are not my favorite especially when they don't have guardrails um, and there's like a sheer cliff but I would never, I'd be scared to death to do that in a larger, in a larger rig. So thank goodness for our class B. 
bonus item, number, well, I'll call that number 11, but it's actually a bonus. When you're camping, when you're actually out on the road, you only need one vehicle. Okay, so when you're in a, uh, when you're towing something, you've got the truck that's, you know, the pickup truck normally that's towing and then the thing behind you that you're towing. Um, class A's, a lot of class A's and sometimes class C's where I see people with um, large ones that are towing a car behind them. So they're not only driving in their rig, but they're towing another vehicle behind them. In our class B, we don't have to tow anything. Um, when we went on this trip just the other day, all we had was our class B, me, Yoko, our cat, and our bike rack on the back of our rig, it's totally stable, um, carrying two mountain bikes. It felt really, really good. I would not have wanted to be in any other position than we were. It just, it should, again, it just, it just felt right. Class B, in my opinion, is the way to go, whether you're a beginner or a seasoned RVer. Again, that's one to two people, plus a pet, maybe two pets. I'm sure we could have another cat in ours if we, it probably wouldn't be any problem at all. We start getting a lot of pets and a lot of people, no, not so much. It's not, that's not what class Bs are designed for. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I try to answer as many as I possibly can. If you have not yet subscribed, but you made it to the end of this, you definitely should be a subscriber. So just click subscribe and, and also um, hit your notifications so you enable notifications of every time I come out with a new video. You will definitely be converted. Until next time, I am Dr. Dave and I'm the RV Dummy. I'm here to help you and we're one big happy RV family. See you later.